Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease in which your body's insulin-producing cells are mistakenly destroyed by your immune system. The body then becomes unable to produce energy from food, meaning that if you're diabetic, you have to constantly manage your blood glucose levels as well as also take insulin injections. Thanks to science, people with diabetes have better tools to help manage their disease, but are still prone to developing liver, heart, and nerve damage. My little brother was diagnosed with diabetes in 2014 while I was in college. I was always very protective of him and his diagnosis rocked my family to its core. Every day he worries about his blood glucose levels and every day it furthers my understanding of what it's like to live life with a chronic disease. Diabetes increases the difficulty of life's most simple tasks. Asking restaurants for how many carbs are in a dish becomes the norm. It's not uncommon that they'll get the number wrong and your blood glucose will drop to dangerous levels. It puts so much strain on you as a kid especially when the only thing that you've got to look forward to is a lifetime of complications. My passion for discovery first began in high school. I was fascinated by scientists who solved complex problems like traveling to the moon, cracking our genetic code, and creating vaccines, all of which were government initiatives. I too wanted to use the power of both public policy and science to help solve our nation's next big challenge. I love my brother and I knew that I had to use my passion for science to halt the damage that diabetes does to the body. While my work may never directly impact him, hopefully a generation from now, someone's sibling will have an easier life because of scientific research. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for patients with diabetes. Even if they maintain their blood glucose levels, their condition progressively makes their heart weaker. My lab is determining how diabetes damages the heart and the potential therapies that could be used to protect the heart during diabetes. Using mice with type 1 diabetes and heart cells grown in a dish, we test therapies that we one day hope to evaluate in patients. Our research could allow them to live normal lives. Our work is funded by the National Institutes of Health. With the support from the NIH, we found that if we increase the amount of a small genetic molecule known as microRNA133A, we can protect the heart from diabetic damage and even reverse heart disease. We want to bring the treatment to clinical trials to test in patients and determine ways to detect heart damage earlier. Continued government support of biomedical research is crucial to pursuing these goals. However, cuts in state funding for universities and the stagnation of federal funding have made it increasingly difficult for academic labs like ours to pursue their projects. It is an exciting time in science, because with continued investments in basic science research, many opportunities exist to either cure or prevent diseases instead of just treating their symptoms. We hope that both state and federal governments continue their support of both science and education so that these discoveries can be brought to light. My name is Tyler Cambus. I am a graduate student at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. Thanks to the federal funding of science, I am pursuing a career devoted to curing diabetes and using science to improve lives.